Hi, I'm Kai, and today we want to have a look on the function in ePlan which is called Use Existing PLC Connections Blockwise. With this functionality, you can handle a big amount of PLC connections like inputs, outputs, and analog signals very easily. Which requirements you need to fulfill and how it works is part of this video, so stay tuned. So when we have a look here on my project, you can see that I have just added a few pages. So basically all of these pages are motor starter. But what I haven't done is that I select any PLC IOs here. I don't have either any PLC card in this project. So when you work functional orientated, then you most probably have all the functions on one page for a motor starter. What makes it very easy to copy this page? And maybe you work for different customers and sometimes use a Siemens PLC or a L Bradley PLC or Phoenix Contact PLC. And then it makes no sense on your macro that you select directly IO addresses here. So therefore, I will show you how it works. First of all, we open the PLC navigator. So we go to device and here to navigator. And then you can see that we have here in the location A1 and the function FA1, some inputs and outputs. So I'm sorry for the missing translation here. The E means digital input and the A digital output. And here on the function FA2, we have also some inputs, outputs. And on FA11, we have our frequency converter, what is not part of this video. But we have here also some inputs and outputs. And in the next step, we want to set a filter here, so the filters already exist normally, so we can use the filter digital input, and we want to count how many digital inputs we have in our project. So when you have just a few, it's very easy, but if you have several hundreds of inputs and outputs, it will be a little bit more complicated. So we select everything here, and go here to connection points. And then you can see here that we have eight. So if you had a few more in your project, you will see here how many it is. So that means for our project here, we need on the end eight plus a few spare inputs. That means I want to add now a digital input card here. So I don't activate the filter anymore. Make a right click and go to new device. And now I jump into my parts management and can select, for example, a Siemens S7-1500 32 digital input card. I click OK. And now this card is in my navigator. So I make a double click on it. And can also change here the device tag. For example, I want to call it KF1 and I want to change the function. So I call it PLC, it's part of the location plus A1 and KF1. I click OK. So in the next step, I want to address the whole card. So I mark my KF1 here and go to address, or you can make a right click and click address. And you can select your start address. So it's important that you select here the right PLC specific setting. So when you work with Siemens or with Alan Bradley, you need to change it here. We work with Siemens, so we keep it as it is and start, for example, with 0.0. .0. We click OK, and now ePlan automatically addresses the whole card. And now we want to connect these inputs to the PLC card. So we select here our filter again, digital input. And we select our functions with the digital input and go to connection points. Now we have here on the left side eight of our digital inputs. And now we need to select which inputs from our card should be connected to these eight inputs. So I select the first byte, click OK. And now I have it here on the right side. You can also change here with move down and move up when you want to change something, I keep it as it is and click OK. 
And now you see that you have directly all informations on your PLC inputs. The same you can now do with the outputs or with others. Also on all the other pages are now the right inputs. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.